This is Helen McDade from Fault Ireland's Enterprise and Hospitality Unit and today I'm speaking to Geraldine Egan from Tourism Ireland on business partnerships and Geraldine's really going to be talking about how you as Irish industry members can link and get involved with all the key promotions and the activities that Tourism Ireland offer and really help you to get some profile overseas. Thanks very much Helen. It's a pleasure to be here to get the opportunity to give you the industry an idea of who Tourism Ireland is, what we do, all the opportunities that are out there and how we work with our sister agency Falch Ireland. First of all about Tourism Ireland. Well we are the agency charged with the promotion of the island of Ireland overseas. That's to say it's our job to inspire, motivate potential consumers to come and take a holiday in Ireland. Our colleagues in Falch Ireland are responsible for the development of the tourism infrastructure in the Republic of Ireland and it's their job to make sure that the product is right for the consumers overseas who we are busy attracting through a whole range of world-class activities. Tourism Ireland is represented in 22 overseas markets. We have 13 offices, you'll see them there on the map and we have a dynamic, motivated team of 148 across the globe, including the colleagues in our office in Dublin. So I really wanted to give you an idea of how you can use the resources that Tourism Ireland has available to you, the industry. So first of all, you can go on to our corporate website, tourismireland.com, and there you will see a whole range of very useful information because it is important that you know who your target audience is and how then you are going to target them. So all of that information is available on the tourismireland.com and if you see up there on the right hand corner you have the industry opportunities. That is the site that is basically the shop window for everything that Tourism Ireland does overseas. So how do we go about inspiring people to come to Ireland? First of all, it's very important that the access is right. And you'll see here that we have a whole range of cooperative campaigns, mainly with access partners and tour operators around the world. Last year, we had 13 million invested in cooperative partnership campaigns. We have our consumer website, which is Ireland.com. And here, for example, you can see the current content in relation to Ireland's ancient East. There is similar content for the Wild Atlantic Way and Dublin, a breath of fresh air. First of all, as you, an industry member, being approved by Fall to Ireland gives you automatic listings on Ireland.com. But first of all, you have to make sure that your listing is correct on discoverireland.ie. And here, for example, you will see some of the accommodation listings, as well as some tips to optimise your presence on Ireland.com. Ireland.com is the consumer website with 19.6 visits so your product listing is up there and available for potential 19 nearly 20 million people to see today i would like to focus in on our site the industry opportunities this as i mentioned earlier is what i like to call the shop window to everything that tourism ireland does as our key role is helping you, the tourism industry, to make that sale. So we would encourage you, the industry, to register on the site. And once you do, you will get alerts for a whole range of activities that you can engage in. Currently, there are over 204 live opportunities. And we are busy uploading all the 2018 opportunities at the moment. So what kind of opportunities am I talking about? Well, there's a whole range. 
Firstly, you'll all know about the overseas trade and consumer promotions. World Travel Market is on in London as we speak in November. We have ITB Berlin. We have a range of consumer promotions in Germany and in Britain but also lots of business tourism and other promotions. But you don't actually have to leave your office and go to a consumer promotion. Some industry think that the only way they can promote is to go and stand at an event. We are living in a very changed environment at the moment. It's all about digital and obviously Tourism Ireland has stepped up its digital activity and we are really very active in the whole digital space. And there, for example, you have a range of e-signs which go to consumers, travel trade, travel media, business tourism contacts, or golf um, consumers, or golf travel trade. We also know the importance now of social media and there all our market colleagues have a whole range of opportunities for you to get involved in their Facebook and um, Twitter and Instagram accounts. Publicity has changed also in recent years. We used to just focus in on print media. Now obviously everything is online but we also work very closely with our media colleagues with our media contacts throughout the world and Tourism Ireland engages with 22,000 media contacts throughout the world. The cooperative campaigns mainly happen with access partners or with tour operators but actually either a destination for example um, a destination on the Wild Atlantic Way or the Dublin campaign which is ongoing at the moment around the world or Ireland's Ancient East. There are a whole lot of campaigns running throughout the year and all that information is on the industry opportunities. Competition sponsorship, that's where we would ask you to sponsor a prize in return for getting your um, logo, a link to your site on whoever is the competition host, it might be a magazine, it might be a radio programme and that's a really cost effective way of getting your message out there to an audience in whatever market you're interested in selling to. Have you a story to tell? Well we all know what sets Ireland apart is the fact that we are a nation of storytellers and it's the people that our visitors meet when they come to Ireland that will actually give them the memories, the fantastic memories, and encourage them to talk about Ireland, to tell their stories, and to get more people to come here. So on the home page of our Industry Opportunities website, there's a button where we ask you to submit your quirky stories. It could be um, a story about a new product, it could be the development of an existing product, it could be that you had celebrities in your property recently, it might be something as a photo of bluebells in the springtime or of the sheep lambing in the lambing season. It's amazing the type of images that are used on social media and are shared. And as we know, social media is so important. So you might think you don't have a quirky story, but if you look at some of the examples I will go through, you'll see, and we would encourage you to send us in your stories. Then another free opportunity would be the experiential offer campaigns. On Ireland.com, which is our consumer site, a very dynamic site, we have content on all of the programmes, as well as content on our things to do, things to see, festivals. So at the moment we have on the Wild Atlantic Way pages, we have a whole range of offers for Wild Atlantic Way. We ask you to submit these offers free of charge. They'll sit on the Wild Atlantic Way pages or on the Dublin pages or on the IAE pages. 
And when Hans Schmidt in Berlin is researching his holiday to Ireland, he will be served up all of those offers. And it's a chance for you to get your business out there and it doesn't cost you anything. Another new opportunity for you to engage with us in is our community.ireland.com. This, if you like, is a real-time live chat facility on Ireland.com where we ask the industry to sign up, we ask the overseas trade to sign up, and they can then respond to the community, and the community are the overseas visitors who might have a question about something in particular. I'll show you some uh, examples of that. And then the other opportunity would be Ireland's content pool. This is a joint Fulch Ireland Tourism Ireland resource for you to use to use the fantastic imagery and video content that we have invested in, but also if you have good images and good video content, you can actually share that with us and we will share it with the potential visitors to Ireland. Here, for example, we have the three flyers, so anytime Tourism Ireland presents that events with Falcha Ireland or um, events Throughout, the throughout Ireland, you'll see that we have these three flyers. The one on the left tells you all about the different opportunities. It gives you an overview of all the opportunities. The experiential offers gives you more information on getting your experiential offers up on Ireland.com. And the third one on the right have you a story to tell, giving you examples of the best stories that create the demand and create a bit of a buzz overseas. Here you can see a range of the different opportunities, be they trade workshops, consumer promotions, trade, uh, B2B business tourism, special interest like the gardening one there, special destination like the Wild Atlantic Way. A full range, and this is just a snapshot, we're currently finalising our plans for 2018, but that will give you just an idea of what's happening in January. So the biggest consumer fair in Europe takes place every year for nearly two weeks in January. But that live document will be available on the Industry Opportunities website very shortly. It's all about digital, and our digital footprint is everywhere. Ireland.com, our consumer website, had 19.5 million visits in 2016, which created 4 million referrals. That is a substantial referral rate. So really, if you're not in, you can't win. So if you don't have your listing up on Ireland.com, you're losing out. If you don't have your experiential offers on Ireland.com, you're also losing out. Growing the social media reach. This is something that we're active on every day of the week. We currently have 3.8 million fans on Facebook. We're number four in the world. On YouTube, we're number three in the world with 28 million views. And Twitter, number four in the world with nearly 400,000 followers. And as you can see, we are on Pinterest, WeChat in China, Instagram, Google Plus and a whole range of other social media um, and a whole range of other social media platforms. Some examples here of the consumer e-sign sent to an engaged database. This is a database of people who have signed up and have agreed to accept regular information from Ireland. So you can see here, for example, these were some examples of Ireland's Ancient East, the most recently launched uh, new brand. Examples of getting your offers on Ireland.com. You can see the listing on the Industry Opportunities website on the left, two of them. And then when you send in your offers, they're checked. And once they fulfill the criteria, they display then on the relevant content page. Again, this is an Ireland's Ancient East example. 
Publicity I mentioned earlier on is hugely important. Just to remind you again, we're dealing with 22,000 contacts around the world and we work very closely with Fall to Ireland in bringing in the journalists and while it's fantastic to get people into Ireland and really experience our wonderful brands up close and we all know there's no getting away from having people visit Ireland but as uh, travel media experts are getting busier and busier and not able to leave their desks as much we are very uh, much in touch with them through our regular press releases, through our media room, through our uh, media Twitter account. And here's some examples of print media around the world. Tourism Ireland in Dublin, where I'm based, um, and as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm in the business partnership department. We have a publicity team in our office in Dublin who work very closely with the Fall to Ireland publicity team. And every two weeks, we share this Ireland e-zine, which is giving all our colleagues in the organisation, 148 colleagues, new product information. They then in turn share this information with the overseas media. The stories go up on the media rooms which are available in all the foreign languages and some of the information will be used in consumer designs or indeed in trade designs. So that's why we need your stories. When your stories come in to, into Tourism Ireland we look at them and we share them. They might go in the Ireland design, they might be suggested as a social media post. But that's why we need your stories. We're all aware of content and the importance of content. And we, as a tourism agency, have to keep Ireland top of mind with our publicity and media contacts throughout the world. We're not alone. Ireland is in competition with the rest of the world. So that's why your stories, your quirky stories, are so important to us. Here again, some um, titles of the publicity achieved in uh, 2016, where we had an equivalent advertising value of 326 million. In other words, if we had to pay advertising for the amount of publicity we got, it would have cost us 326 million. The overseas travel trade is very important to us and there we're involved in a whole range of activities from familiarisation visits and here you can see some examples. The familiarisation visits are again organised in tandem with our colleagues in Folger Ireland. Tourism Ireland has the contacts in the market. We then um, invite them and Fall to Ireland craft up wonderful itineraries and these travel trade go around and visit and experience product firsthand. So here you can see on the left uh, travel agents from uh, Australia and New Zealand and on the right Italians who are very interested in food, hence the uh, Catherine Fulvio there. Here again we have more trade visits and you can see they're all having a lovely time and they go back then full of inspiration, full of passion about Ireland and it's so much easier for them to sell Ireland because they've actually felt it up close. Because Ireland isn't the easiest country to sell overseas. If you've never been or if you don't know anything about it, it's often confused with Iceland. People think the food is terrible, people think it rains all the time. So obviously it's our job in conjunction with our colleagues in Forge Ireland and with you, the industry, to give information, to have fantastic imagery out there so that we can put the right information about Ireland in front of consumers, travel trade, media. The Ireland.com community is the newest digital platform we have, which is free of charge for you, the industry, to get involved in. 
You saw how it works, the people put up their questions. This is an example of a question, somebody from Holland interested in touring around the Southwest. And then you, if you're in the Southwest and if you're registered on the site, you can respond to him, telling him about your property or things to do in your area. So it's a way for you to enter into direct communication with the potential visitor to Ireland. And generally speaking, these people are actually hot leads because they're planning their visit. So you have a chance of influencing them to come to your area or indeed to come to your particular uh, product, be it a, an accommodation product or an activity or festival. So it's something that I would urge you all to sign up for. I'm going to leave you today with a flavour for some of the activity that has happened around the world for the three programmes. Obviously, it's a flavour. There's so much fantastic uh, activity happening around the world. But in the interest of time today, this will just give you an overview. So you can see there on the right, there for a German magazine, they're talking about the Leuchtturm, the um, lighthouses. Then Isla Skellig in the Nordics talking about Skellig Island. Over in the Wild Atlantic Way, it's an Italian e -sign. And there we have um, a social media posting from Spain. Then we move along to the other side of the country, to Ireland's ancient east, and there you will see social media posts, some of the publicity, the um, traditional publicity, the Saveur, the lovely French uh, food magazine, and then the content for Ireland's Ancient East in Ireland Ezine, which I mentioned earlier. And that, for example, gives 10 heritage gems in Ireland's Ancient East. So that content is ideal content for us. When we get the content from you, the industry, we get a journalist to put the content into stories so it's ready for the overseas media to use it. So again, the importance of sharing your content with us. And then for Dublin, a breath of fresh air. Spotlight magazine in Germany. Uh, Spooky Dublin, all about Halloween, which is very fitting for this time of the year. Dublin, no research required. At the moment, we have a joint off-season campaign for Dublin, trying to encourage more visitors overseas to come to Dublin. So you can see there's a French one there in collaboration with uh, Dublin Airport and Transavia, the airline. Ça va vous faire à Dublin for 39 euros, fly to Dublin for 39 euros. Ten top things to do in Dublin. We're out there promoting the New Year's festival. So now, Coming to the very last slide, you'll be delighted to hear, I'd like to leave you the next steps. There's always something for you to do. So first of all, I'd urge you to go and check your listings. Check your listing on discoverireland.ie and if there's something that you're not too happy with, you can send the update to weblistings at faultyourireland.ie and then the new information will appear on the consumer site Ireland.com. I'd encourage you to register on Tourism Ireland Industry Opportunities website so that you will receive the regular alerts for offers for Ireland.com as well as the alerts for all the other activities. If you have a quirky story or a lovely image or um, some good video content, please do share it with us and submit it to have you a story to tell on the front page of, on the home page of the Industry Opportunities website. Be sure to submit your experiential offers. We have sent out call outs for the three programmes, Dublin, Wild Atlantic Way and Ireland's Ancient East. But you can submit your offers any time. You don't have to respond to a call out. You can get involved by um, joining in the webinars that we do for the travel trade in the English speaking markets. But for next year, Italy and France 
will also be having webinars and generally speaking those webinars are for a destination so if it's for Dublin there'll be an alert on the industry opportunity looking for Dublin industry to get involved and do a piece on a festival accommodation and things to do and see so you might have three or four Dublin industry who will be able to join in a webinar from their desk they don't have to um, they don't have to leave their office and as well as that usually there's only a small cost involved do have a look at the uh, communityireland.com and register be sure to upload your good imagery and video content on Ireland's content pool and festivals are a reason for people coming to Ireland so if there are events and festivals happening in your locality be sure to make the most of it Falch Ireland has done wonderful work in helping the industry with um, collateral and logos for the uh, Bram Stoker Festival, for New Year's Festival, for the Blooms Festival. These are just the ones that come to mind straight away because I'm in Dublin. But there are festivals all over Ireland and your local Falch Ireland colleague will be sharing that information with you. So be sure that the information on your own website reflects some of those lovely things for people, our overseas visitors, to experience when they come to Ireland. I hope that many of you will take the opportunity to register on the site if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, you can send your inquiries to industry opportunities at tourismireland.com. Thank you. Thanks, Geraldine. That was actually a really great explanation um, of all the ways that businesses that can engage with you and help promote their business overseas. And I guess as part of the Brexit initiative, market diversification is a really important pillar uh, as part of the Brexit response program. So all of that information is very relevant. So for any of the businesses, if you'd like any further information um, for any of the supports that are available under the Brexit, Ready, Brexit response program, you can log on to getbrexitready.com. Thank you.